welcome back. What you see is the science room. This is incredible science where most of the videos happen, but we need to take it to the next level. This is just a regular room and I'm about to transform it in a few seconds. Your mind is going to be blown. This is going to look like the coolest room you've ever seen and we're going to do tons of cool science experiments in it. Just even today, right now, I'm going to show you some liquid nitrogen explosions in black ice, in black light. I'm going to show you the world's biggest vinegar and baking soda rocket. But first, I got to show you the room. So ready? In three, two, one. Alright guys, how awesome is that? We have one more thing. Boom, right there. Amazing, right? All right, now we're gonna do some amazing, incredible actually, science experiments. I'm gonna take liquid nitrogen. Well, just let me show you. I'm gonna put confetti, I'm gonna put ping pong balls, I'm gonna put liquid nitrogen inside it and explode the entire thing. Let's go. Well, we're gonna switch it up. I am going to add something to it. This is going to be a neon dry liquid nitrogen explosion. Black light reflective liquid nitrogen explosion coming up guys let's see if we can see liquid nitrogen in, in but let's just pour some on the ground Not like Harry Potter. It was awesome. Got it. Huh? What? There's a liquid nitrogen explosion, guys. Here we are. This is the gym where I'm going to attempt to do the giant ping pong ball liquid nitrogen explosion. I'm gonna set it up right in the middle, and everything is here. Bucket full, garbage can full of colorful ping pong balls. Let's get it going. All right, we are here in the gym with the liquid nitrogen and the garbage can and the thousands of ping pong balls, which we are gonna explode. All right, let's set it up and hope it goes. I'm about to fill up this garbage can with ping pong balls. Now there are a lot of ping pong balls already in here. I'm gonna fill it up with liquid nitrogen until about here. Then I'm gonna put it in. And then I'm gonna quickly dump out the rest of the ping pong balls into there. But before I do that, I'm gonna cap off the bottle. I'm gonna put a cap on it. And the pressure is gonna build. It could take a minute or two or longer. I don't know. Last night when I tried it with a small bottle, it took two minutes. So the anticipation is gonna build. You don't wanna look away, even if it's gonna take a while, and then all of a sudden you'll hear a boom, and like one or two ping pong balls may come out. Maybe three or four. But I'm more nervous that it's not gonna explode at all. And then we're just gonna be waiting, and it's gonna be too dangerous to get up to get over there. Well, it's stuck in the gym forever. So I put
put the bottle in, as you see, I'm waiting and I'm waiting, and nothing is happening. This was my biggest fear of this experiment because it's a really powerful bomb in there. It's a liquid nitrogen bomb. You can't just go in and take it with your hand or look over and see what's going on. It could really hurt you. And this is what I was afraid of. It wouldn't explode and how do I get it out? So that's what happened. We were, this was about seven minutes of nothing happening. So what I did was, well, here's what happened. Okay, so at least we... Okay, it's pretty empty. So yeah, it turns out the bottle wasn't sealed that well and it was leaking out so it didn't have a chance to build up the pressure and explode. But I reset and I did it again and it worked incredibly well. Just watch the giant explosion. There's a lot in here, it should work. That's really tight. This will work. And that is the liquid nitrogen explosion, guys. That was awesome. Woo! Finally worked. It is done. I was honestly afraid to do it because it's a big explosion. I didn't have a place to do it, so so happy that it worked out. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That was a lot of ping pong balls. Now I'm gonna go clean this up. And thanks for helping clean up, Z. It felt so good to finally be able to do it. But I still have one more ping pong thing to show you, a cool ping pong liquid nitrogen experiment. And that is how to get a ping pong to spin like 5,000 RPM. Now, the way you do it is you put a little hole in the ping pong, not straight down, but at an angle. The dunk it in the liquid nitrogen, and then when you touch it or you just let it warm up, it's just spinning like crazy because the liquid nitrogen is shooting out the hole. like crazy. Woo! Check it out. Can you see it? That was awesome. And guys, we're going to end it off with a little liquid nitrogen. Fun. Black light me. <laughs> Look at my teeth and black light makes you look crazy. Makes you look freaky. Makes you look like an alien. I am no alien. I am glow in the dark incredible science guy. If you want this t-shirt, if you want this cap, go to incrediblescience.com and pick one up for yourself. In the next video, I'll be exploding the world's biggest baking soda and vinegar. Let's get some regular light on here. Rocket. Whew. It just makes such a big difference when you have cool lighting. That is it. Stay incredible. I'll see you soon.